Hello friends, welcome back to Munstad. In today's session, we are going to discuss about a very important uh, you know, uh, issue where we generally have this kind of architecture where you'll be having your you know any point platform VPCs like non-prod, prod VPCs, and we are looking for connecting to the corporate data centers. Okay. There you will see, you know, there are multiple different ways of connecting your VPC with your corporate data center. There is a VPN connection available. There is AWS direct connection, VPC peering. Now, Endpoint platform supports transit gateway also. So all your VPC can connect directly to transit gateway and then transit gateway can connect to your data center. So on my screen, you can see that we have AWS region. So let's consider this is our Endpoint platform VPC, integrated VPCs, and then your data center, you can see the customer gateway, which should be the entry gate for your uh, corporate data center. We have servers over there, we have clients over there. Now, why are VPN side to side VPN connections that are connecting to your transit gate? Now, always we'll be having trouble to test the connectivity, whether from your VPC, whether you are able to connect your data center or not, whether your data center, uh, you know, so if you go with VPN connections, right, there will be two tunnels created. So one for up and one for down. Okay. So those connections are uh, you know stable, whether you are able to connect or not. Always you'll be having trouble, you know, uh, you know, while connecting this uh, you know, network uh, connectivity. So fortunately, we have uh, you know a tool called network connectivity uh, testing tool, and it's available inside the GitHub right now. I'll show you that. Okay. So with the help of that tool. It's kind of new app, okay? And you can deploy it in, in our VPC region from where you wanted to test the VPN connection. So we'll deploy it there and it will give you a beautiful UI. From there, from that UI, you can, you know, either you can trace the route, you can ping it, you can run curl commands, all those things, possible options are available over there, you know? So it's very user-friendly. So let me take you to the, to the code first. So you can find the you know that new application over here so it's a new soft hyphen lamps net hyphen tools by anywhere share this URL in the description below so this is implemented by a group of people okay so there are five contributors here so I don't want to take any credit for the implementation so I just wanted to show you the demo on this okay so we can take the code from here so you can see so they have given the details here it's a deployable new app you can deploy in the our uh, cloud of VPC from where you want to test the connectivity and it's helpful. So in DNS lookups, ping, press route, open TCP sockets, you know, doing simple request with the call. Okay, so this let's see how it works. Okay, so it's enabled and protected with basic authentication and default credentials are this. We can change by deployment. So we'll see we'll change these credentials for our requirements. Okay. And this, you know, UI, I told you, right? So this new application gives you a beautiful UI and that UI is reachable on this particular, you know, UI. So let's do the demo part. So first, what we'll do, we'll take this code and clone on our, let me go to my, let's go ahead. So first, let's create the, you know, uh, go to my workspace. Yeah, name directory. Command and from here, and that's it. that repository. It was done. Now we can go to our any point studio and we can import that. Let's 
Here you can see that the implemented this application. So let me focus. So we don't need to change any code over there. We don't need to make any code changes over here. Let's build the jar from this project. Let's go ahead and build the jar. So I build the jar in the same directory. Now we'll go ahead and log into our any point platform. Let's go to the runtime manager. <clears throat> Here I just do Now you can select the reason over here. Since we are working on Python file account, you won't get that option. But when you're doing it in the actual environment, the license environment, you'll get the option to select the reason. Select the reason of your VPC from where you want to test your you know, VPC to be connected. Okay. Yeah. Now select the jar. Go ahead and select your jar. Okay. And you need to set two properties. One is user. So you can say, you know, just say test for now. And the other property is pass. That is, you need to set these two properties. So that confirm these are going to be two things you need to user and pass. Okay. Now let's go back here. User and pass to the store. Let's see there are no spaces. And let's say deploy. That's it. So it will get deployed. And till that point, I will take a pause over here. It's deployed now. You can see that it's it properly deployed. You can say it's started. Let's go ahead and go to settings and copy this. Okay, and load parameters to Let's go to our We can see that now you get in your uh, UI and uh, you have seen that right it's uh, enabled or protected with DKC authentication and while our deployment we give user and password as test space you can pass according to your requirement this is fine so you can say that this is now if you just type here and here this is the to the dot and the run. Here you will see the output properly you will be able to print it. So similar way, the URL if you want to you know, try connecting from your VPC, so that that should be your uh, corporate uh, data center URL. Try giving that URL and you are able to connect it here. Okay, you'll be able to see that connection is you know uh, and proper from the VPC to VPC. We have option here, press root, socket, DNS, curl, certificate, or cipher. So these all options are available here. And from this network connected tool, we can solve a lot of problems. Okay, so connected issues are you know, you know, you know, in the uh, you know, development and all that stuff, right? So those you know uh, issues can be resolved 
you see from this uh, no, okay so that's all from this this my intent was to show the technique okay how this networking connectivity works and thanks for watching you see the uh you know uh like button tell the friends subscribe to the channel and if you like it, so that you get notification uh you know coming sessions